Simon, we, 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 we've been talking about Manchester United and there's always, yeah. whenever you talk Manchester United, it always gets a huge reaction. Ten Hag accused Nottingham Forest of targeting Bruno Fernandes last night, called his captain's uh, critics pathetic. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, it all comes after Bruno was criticised on social media um, after the defeat by Fulham when he stayed down after a challenge by Lukic despite minimal contact, then appeared to kind of jump up and then play a part in the attack that happened immediately after that. But Ten Hag jumped to Fernandes' defence. You saw that Forrest uh, was targeting him, so I don't go to tell what he has, but it was a serious injury. And when I then see that serious media, they criticise him, uh, also social media, uh, that is is pathetic uh, and can't be. He has a serious injury, but he continued to play on Saturday, and now also uh, he fought to be part of this game, and uh, he has a very high pain threshold. And that uh, last year he did also something similar against Spurs, and I think in the semi-final, and that shows his leadership, and because there he expresses his character, character, and that is very good for uh, when you are a leader that uh, goes and fluid into the team. You see, Simon, what what annoys Ten Hag and United, yeah. as I understand it, is in the last 24 hours, Fulham posted on TikTok at that very moment when uh, Fernandes seemed to stay down after this challenge by Lukic. Mm -hmm. Play goes on, United on the attack, up he gets, and he tries to take part in the move. Fulham actually posted that. So what? I mean, mean, if Fernandes has a high pain threshold, I wish I had a high drivel threshold, because I don't for that nonsense from Ten Hag. He didn't have a serious injury. If he had a serious injury, he wouldn't be bloody playing, would he? He had a knock. And it's not just Fernandes. It's lots of players. So this argument that rages about players being needing to be trusted or characterised in a certain way is of their own making because simulation and cheating and rolling around and telling people to get yellow cards and wasting time are all the byproducts of modern day football. And so when you earn that moniker, that's what you get. Irrespective of how talented Fernandes is, most football observers, besides the talent, who are not Man United fans, are not having him. They don't think he's a leader. And they think that the histrionics that he does on the pitch are not acceptable. And the rolling about bit, is just a, he's not the only one that does it. But he's the captain of Man United. And Man United get much more focus than anybody else. So he doesn't get tarnished, tarnished with a different brush than other people do. If you roll around and make a four-act play out of something, and then you get up and involve yourself in an attack, then you weren't injured enough in the first place. And that's a common trait that exhibits itself in so many different football uh, footballers and football clubs that but, the idea that people should give them the benefit of the doubt sod off they're not entitled to the benefit <laughs> of the doubt but well, I mean what are Fulham trying to achieve though by posting it themselves on TikTok is that not a bit naughty that's stirring it isn't it well, well I, I, I guess comedy music I, guess, I guess I guess in the world of everyone being together and united in the common good of football then football clubs should all toe the line and not patronise not take the mickey out of one another why should they they're their rivals this 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 feigned bonhomie and togetherness is nonsense. Football clubs will stab one another in the back as soon as look at one another, nick players off one another, poach, poach your manager and generally upset everything around another football club if they possibly can, mm. starting with three points on a Saturday afternoon and yeah. finding itself into every boardroom around the country. So no, I don't think, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's an elegant way for Fulham to behave. But, but, and, and there'll come a point where one of their players will do the same thing and, and so people in glass houses probably shouldn't throw stones. Mm. Mm. What? We're getting a few? No, as you speak to me, don't worry. We're getting a few calls in it as you as you're talking. I would never stab you in the back. Be the front every time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, we might take some calls on that. We're full of naughty to post that on TikTok. Bruno Fernandez going down, apparently injured, couldn't play on. The attack carries on. Bruno gets up and takes part in the attack. Fulham posted that. Was that naughty? Was that naughty putting that out on TikTok and uh, obviously adding a bit of comedy, uh, comedic music to it? United say that fuels the abuse. Um, have they got a point? It's the fact, Simon, that Fulham posted it that is annoying uh, many United fans. Get over it. Many United fans getting in touch on Twitter. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a, oh, there's one. I'm a United fan of 35 years. I actually think Fulham were right to post it, says uh, Steve, Manchester United uh, supporter. I'm sick of seeing him and Rashford look like they're doing us a favour by turning out for us. The expressions on their face and their body language is dreadful, says Steve, who's a Manchester United no, fan. That's, that's quite significant, fan. isn't it? Uh, there's another one, Simon. Fulham were right to 
call it out, says Stephen Bexley Heath. Uh, more teams should do it. Then it might stop them embarrassing themselves and play acting. Well, let's just make sure that the teams that are calling out other teams aren't doing it themselves. Because unfortunately, it's not a malaise that just stops at Bruno Fernandes. He might be a high-profile example of it, and they're able to point their finger at that. But I guarantee you, if you roll through the season and look at something that Fulham have done, you'll be able to do the same thing to them. And I, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, this idea that they should all be together. They're not together. They're not together. The clubs aren't together. Most of the time, people in the boardroom don't like one another. The clubs are rivals. Managers don't like one particularly. So this idea that it shouldn't be done, it's not the right thing to do, which I think is what Alex Cook is telling you, is silly. It's nonsense. <laughs> you're competitors. You're rivals. And whatever way you get an advantage over one another is the way you get an advantage. Well, I mean, we haven't pushed for calls in this, but we're getting many of them. Uh, Craig's a big Leeds United fan. Craig, what's your take on this? You know the incident we're talking about, mate, don't you? I do, yeah. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Simon. Good Brilliant morning. show as ever. Thank you. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic what Fulham have done. And the reason being is because, let's be fair, Jim, I know you're a Man United fan, we were, the rest <laughs> of us are sick. The rest of us are sick of the media playing to Man United. They have done for years, since Fergie, right? Their time is over, right? City are the leaders now. Liverpool are up there. Their time is over. All you get from all the Man United fans now is war me, war me, right? You've got a team of wannabes, right? They're not a team. It's a set of individuals. And it's about time it was, they were brought to stand and said, look, you're not good enough. Look at the, the team of 92. Yeah. Right? They had Beckham, Giggs, Coles, everybody, right? That were a team who were worth watching, paying you money to go for who would run through brick walls for that red shirt. Yeah. These guys, I don't even think, would run to the cash machine for their wages. That's how lazy they are. So you deserve everything you get, and it's brilliant. As a Leeds fan, I love it. Every time Man United <laughs> looks, it's brilliant. It's like another three points. Well, Craig, you're getting a lot of backing, I can tell you. Your, your take on it is echoed by many around the country. There's Danny. Jim, it's fantastic what Fulham have done. Uh, Fernandes is consistently rolling about and moaning. They've, they're quite right to call it out and put some silly music to it. Phil's a big Leeds fan. I don't know why the Leeds fans are coming in uh, in numbers here, Simon, but they are. Phil, what what do you think of it? Do you think Fulham are right to do this? Yeah, I'm same as Craig. I think it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, they, they, it's a bit of fun. Um, the, the, but for me, the question of morality lies with Fernandez and lies with Manchester United. It doesn't lie with Fulham. Fulham are just having a bit of fun. And, and if they're highlighting it, yeah, maybe it'll stop happening. Yeah, uh, I, I think so too. Listen, thanks for your call. Uh, you can see what supporters think of it, Simon. Well, I said that too, didn't I? I said that the, I mean, the reaction from people will be, A, Fernandez <laughs> divides people. He doesn't, I don't know if he divides the Man United fan base, but people have a view of him as a player that he's a very, very talented footballer, but there's lots about, about him that they don't particularly like. And if you listen to the football industry itself, a lot of them will say he's not a leader, this, that and the other. I like people that have got substance and, yeah. and can overcome adversity. This idea that he's the only footballer that does it, but I do think it's great. And I do think that people will turn around, the, the audience will come in and turn around and go, great, great, but it'll be your players as well. Your players will do the same bloody thing. Yes. Um, uh, we can't talk about it without having a United fan on. In fact, the, one of the calls, <coughs> Craig, was saying, I'm a United fan. I'm not. But I'm a, I certainly was a Sir Alex Ferguson fan. Still am. Sammy, big United fan. What's your take on this? Hello, mate. Um, so I believe that I think a lot of United fans are actually sick of um, Bruno Fernandes' uh, hysterics on the pitch. He hasn't got the characteristics which is befit of a United captain in terms of the way he rolls around. Uh, but I just think, in essence, he has, in terms of the conversation around, has he got a high pain threshold? Since 2022, no player has actually, in the world, top leagues, have played any more minutes than he does, well, than he has. He's only missed one game for United uh, through injury. The others were through suspension. So I think, of course, he does have his, his theoretics. Um, but in terms of his ability as a footballer, he's fantastic. I wouldn't stop him for anyone. Uh, but I just think, yeah, the, the, the play acting, that kind of stuff as well, does get overhyped by the media because of the fact that he is United. It will get interactions, it will get clicks. Sammy, thank you very much indeed uh, for the call. Leo Stewart, a Manchester United fan. It's a bit like sour grapes, is it not? Jim Simon from Fulham. Uh, every club is a player who does it. Sadly, it's football. Uh, yeah. F Fulham maybe have a club who does it as well. Player does it, yeah. But yeah. bringing it to, to light like this and highlighting it can only be good because it may end up embarrassing some of those players who no. indulge in it. 
No, I don't think they'll be embarrassed by it. If they were embarrassed by some of their behaviour, they wouldn't do it in the first place. Look at them. Yeah. Some of them go out like that. Some of them go on the pitch like they've been shot out of the episode of Platoon. Um, you know, yeah. when they get when they get tackled. Look, bottom line is, I think it's nothing. And Man United, like the other caller says, they get a lot of attention. They're not this 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 Man United are not worthy of the amount of attention that they get. But yes. because they are Man United, they do get a lot of attention. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.